Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Gran Turismo 6. Today is episode number 36. If you guys do want to keep up to date with what is going on on the Mechanic CG channel, then make sure to go down in the description and check out all of our social links. We've got Discord, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, and if you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button, that subscribe button, or that like button. And hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking this Nissan GTR R35 Touring Car on the Dream Car Championship. This actually now has uh, the 85% performance limiter taken off as well as added a Stage 3 engine upgrade. So we are now running at 994 brake horsepower. And we are going to be going to the Dream Car Championship. We're going to be... Go into the Twin Ring Mategi first, then to Willow Springs. Next will then be Cape Ring, Circuit de la Sarth, and then the 24 hours of a Nürburgring circuit. Um, our typical opponents are... Oh, the GTR 35. Decent. Uh, we've then got the Ford GT Gran Turismo car and the Zonda LM race car. Interesting. Um, let's go. So obviously we're starting off with the Twin Ring Mategi circuit. There we go, Twin Ring Mategi. Right, here we go. So we are looking at Corvettes, GTRs, Zondas, Ford GTs, and Skylights. And even a Challenger SRT. That is very interesting. I'm looking forward to going against those. Right, I am sorry about the fan in the background. Uh, currently, the PlayStation is kind of overheating, so uh, I needed to keep it cool. Uh, this is the first time as well I've driven this car with this much horsepower. Look how quick it accelerates. That is crazy. This would be a dream car for me, that's for sure. Like, if I could own a GTR that accelerated this quick, that would be awesome. It goes so quick, I actually have to slow down on some of the corners where the game says I don't have to. Nine hundred and ninety four brake horsepower, though. I don't think a Bugatti Veyron even has this kind of acceleration. And I feel like if I put an extended gearbox in this, I could actually make it go even quicker than one it can at the moment. Yeah, for um, the next few tracks, we'll definitely need to put an extended gearbox in. Because that was not a long straight, and we were able to hit quite a high speed there. And that four-wheel drive kicking in very nicely there as well. Perfect. Let's do this. What is that Zonda? That's not a Zonda R. Is that the Zonda LM then? Like a Le Mans car. Oh crap, he pushed me off the road. Sort of turned into my car there. Though, to be fair, I was in the way, so I will take full responsibility for that impact. Is that a Camaro? Nope, it's a Nissan. That looks really squashed. Oh, that's why. It's the concept one. Balls. Uh, 
Oh, look at that breaking zone there. Awesome. Somehow I have to catch up with those cars though. Somehow. At least for these harder tracks, they're not making us go onto um what's the track? Trial Mountain. Or what was yeah, Trial Mountain was the very difficult one that I had problem with in that I had the problem with in GT5. Cause all these higher up tracks were on those slower tracks. And my car just couldn't perform. Is that the master? Okay, that thing accelerates quicker than our car. When it comes to the uh, Circuit de la Sarthe, we definitely need that extended gearbox. And in fact, I think capering we might need it, so... But I feel like these cars come with uh, customizable gearboxes anyway, so we won't have to pay for one. Slow down, slow down. Very nice. Very good there. Come on, come on, come on. Perfect. Come on. This car's acceleration is insane, honestly. Perfect. Right, we are now coming on to the final lap. Very nice. We're aiming for a fastest lap on this lap. That car on the front right there is absolutely overheated. Same, same as my PS3 right now. It's very warm. Stay on the track, stay on the track. Perfect. There we go, slowing down very nicely there. Coming on to this long straight for the 
final time this race. Probably the final time in this car as well. Unless we get another championship where we'll need this. Overpowered beast. One, 42, 43.1. Awesome. Get in there. Eight minutes and 45 seconds for that race. That was brilliant. Next race is going to be Willow Springs. So let's, oh, let's get our money first. 43,000. Three stars. And let's go to the next race. Race number two. Right, let's do this. We are on attempt number two of this. Uh, last time we got to the very final corner, I ended up crashing into the pit wall um, and going through the pits by accident. Um, kind of annoyed me. But hopefully this time it, we won't crash into the pit wall. Um, I've also extended the gears a little bit so uh, we don't end up shifting as much because we were shifting quite a lot in the last one. It was like shift, shift, shift. Oh, wrong button. Remember, it is not a uh, Gran Turismo Sport anymore. Perfect. The extended gears are so much better because there's a little bit more control over the acceleration as well. And it will probably make the car much quicker on the um, Sarth anyways. But also, uh, the final gear I extended a little bit... Oh, stay on the track please. I don't want to repeat at the last race. Uh, I've also extended the final gear quite dramatically. As you'll probably see in a minute. And drop. And that is for like high speed on uh, the Nürburgring straight and also the Sarth as well. Perfect. The fans are really kicking up now on the PlayStation. That was a very good corner there. Oh, I keep messing that one up. Right, let's try on the next lap not to mess it up. Because I really don't want to do the last race again. Because I had to redo the first race after messing up. Like, it was such a big mess up. I couldn't even, like, continue it on because we wouldn't have won overall. Would have just been a waste of time. Come on. Perfect. Right, final car is just up ahead there. Oh wait, no, there's still one more car as well. Get out of the way! Come on. We have one more lap to catch up with that guy in first. Oh, 
Oh, I have a feeling we won't even catch up with them. Uh, we are slowly catching up, but I don't think it's going to be quick enough. There is always a chance in GT6. But we also blow those opportunities way too many times. Like that. Perfect. Right, one more corner. Come on, come on, let's get this. We did it, and we didn't crash into the final section either. Awesome, finish. I mean, that race should have been five laps, I think. It was a very short race, so I think that should have been five laps. But, that was a good win. That was a really good win. Let the replay play. And I will now take my 44,000 credits. Thank you very much. And three stars. Right. On to the next race. Race number three. Right. We are here at Cape Ring now. We are going to be driving quite a long distance today. This is the full track. So we're going to be experiencing every part of Cape Ring. I absolutely love this track to bits. It is epic. Here we go. Nice. Perfect breaking point there. Not very good cornering skills though. We managed to overtake five cars immediately. Ah, uh, not great. Right, about to overtake our twin now. Thank you. Perfect. What is the Ford GT doing? Come on, get through, get through. Nice. Very nice. Why is the Ford GT in the way? Move! Let me through! Right, this corner's the uh, tricky one coming up. Because this hairpin I always mess up. Hey, we didn't do too bad this time. And then this corner as well is quite tricky. Can't take it too fast or you hit the wall like that. And round we go. A little bit too fast, I think, actually. Perfect. Whoa! The Ford GT Le Mans car is getting in my way. Perfect. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay. I thought he was trying to crash into me. That's what most of the cars seem to do in this game anyways.
That is a very tricky section of track there. Come on, come on. Oh, Jesus. Perfect. Right, we are catching up with first and second place right now. Slowly but surely. God, it's hot in here. I think I might take tomorrow off. I might not be able to record tomorrow. It's way too hot. <laughs> Jesus. I don't think that's how cars normally take jumps. Okay, that didn't go so well. Let's see if we can regain that time. Jesus. The car flies. To be honest, it doesn't help that most of the car's weight distribution is towards the rear. Um, I have a feeling if it was towards the front, it would be fine. Um, but yeah, because it's towards the rear, I think that's a massive problem. Right, come on, let's catch up. Come on, come on. Coming up to the hairpin corner now and catching up with the other cars. Big speed. Right, coming up to the hairpin corner now. Perfect. Look at that. Hundred and forty miles an hour off a jump. Crazy. Come on, come on. Perfect. Right, where's the jump? Where's the jump? Here it is. We'll try and take that section without getting airtime. And we actually go much faster because of it. Right, let's do this. Speed is key for this lap. To try and get the fastest lap possible. Awesome.
Very good, very good, very good. Awesome. at the end of this race. About a minute left to go. Come on. Went a little bit wide on that corner there. But hopefully that actually gave us an advantage. Very nice there. decent time actually 2 minutes 25.7 that's 2 seconds faster than our last lap that is awesome 10 minutes and 6 seconds our total time crazy that was awesome though the car just took the corners perfectly every single time wow there were a couple of times where I didn't do very well but still, that was a very good race. Three stars for that. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. If you want to keep up to date on the Mechanic CG channel, then be sure to check out the description for our social links. We've got Twitter, Discord, and Instagram if you want to go check all of those out. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button. Or you can go and grab yourself some merch. Either would mean the world to me. But thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.